Welcome to the Dark Moon Cards and Games Deck Showcase, where we pass on a little wisdom from our years of both competitive play and event organizing to help you learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game, and then start down the road to becoming competitive. Where you go from there is a choice that is up to you. Hey guys, this is Hee Haw with Dark Moon Cards and Games uh, today. We are working on a few ideas uh, that we built with the uh, trainer's toolkits. Uh, if you watched our video review on the kits, you saw that they contain a, a nice uh, assortment of very playable trainer cards, plus two the Dene GX, uh, which combine to give you a good base of cards uh, that can help you build competitive decks. The one caveat being Pokemon kind of went Noah's Ark on that box and only included two each of all of those trainers cards. Uh, whether or not they're male and female of each card, I don't know of any way to tell. I think if that was the case and being the Pokemon USA is based next door to Seattle, the kids would have included 58 copies of each instead of two, which would have been good for us. but. Anyway, since you only do get two of each, what I've found in messing around online and trying to build exclusively with the kit is that you can make decent decks with just one kit, but if you go ahead and bite the bullet and pick up a second one, your options for deck building are much improved and open to a variety of decks. So I'm going to focus on two builds. Uh, first, I'm going to work on a Colossal deck. Mostly because I love the character, and the card itself has the potential to work in a lot of different deck builds. And after that, since we just reviewed that Copperaja V-Box, I'm going to see what I can do with it in terms of, uh, of making a deck. But first, let's take a quick look at the Colossal deck that we built with just one trainer kit. I don't want to waste time with a full game being played, so we'll just look at this list. Uh, I think you'll get a better sense of how the deck works watching me use the one we built with two kits. So this is going to be the Sandaconda V uh, build with just the one trainer kit. Let's take a look at it here real quick and expand this so we can see it. I guess you would say this is kind of a, a box type deck. I really don't like that term but I can't think of a better, uh, better one for it. Gonna have a strong line of Colossal, and Colossal, of course, lets you. Um, as you'll see, lets you. Once a turn, you can attach a Fire Energy and a Fighting Energy um, from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you can go to the same guy, or you can split them. Um, it's kind of like Malamar on drugs. Really strong. The uh, the focus of the deck really, I guess, would be Sanaconda. Because once you get a Colossal set, he um, you can attack with him every time for the Sand Breath. You have to discard two energies. You know, ideally, you have two Fighting and a Fire on here. Then you discard those two, and then just next turn you reattach with a uh, with a Colossal. And if somebody knocks out your Santa Cana, you just attach from your hand and still use Colossal and just keep that stream of damage going. Also, uh, throwing the Nine Tails V. It gives you a pretty good um, counter to anything grass, since that's what uh, both Colossal and Sandaconda are weak to. Um, the Nine Tails Shapeshifter attack too lets you uh, opens up the possibility of you copying somebody else's attack. It's kind of overpowered maybe, and taking a one one hit knockout with him. Very versatile guy. I like him in there. And of course, the uh, the other big hitter really is the Heatran, and Heatran just just kind of hangs out. As you keep playing this thing, every time you have a chance to attach an extra fire energy, either by from your hand or with a, a Colossal's ability, you just want to start stockpiling them all around your field, so that you get a chance to. I like to try to target six energies, and the reason I like uh, six is because with the Hot Burn GX that gets you up to 300 damage which takes out all of the uh, tag teams in play at the moment and gets you pretty close to the uh, to some of the VMAXs as well one more energy will get you a VMAX 
get the energies in play, you let him hang around, then you switch him up and move him all up there with the ability burning road. Then he can uh, he can do his thing and take a big hit for you, and then after that he can keep on fighting for 130, 130 damage at a time until he goes. Then our other uh, kind of techs in here, I like the Cramorant just because he's an easy uh, easy way to snipe a Dedenne off somebody else's bench or anything else that maybe you didn't quite finish it off gives you that possibility of uh, attacking anywhere. I thought we'd throw in a double. He's sort of a last uh, late game guy. If you get to the point where they've taken uh, five prize cards, he can hit for 270. And again, all of these guys, I guess with the exception of the Nine Tails, are somebody that you can charge in one turn from having no energy on them. So pretty cool on that. But like I said, you can see this is what we went with out of the kit. A lot of two ofs, two energy spinner, two evolution incense. Just did one fire crystal. Kept two poke gear, the two uh, Pokemon communication quick ball, rare candy, switch, giant hearth, two bosses orders, two each of the three supporters, Barney, uh, professor's research, and welder. Then the tools that are included in the kit, the air balloons to uh, allow you to free retreat. I believe the Cramorant, the Double, and the Dedenne. And I think it gets the, uh, yeah, it gets the Nine Tails as well. And through in the Vitality Bands, just because they, uh, sometimes that 10 extra damage is pretty vital. No pun intended. And then did an even split on the Energy 7 uh, Fighting 7 Fire. One thing to uh, to talk about in this deck, and it'll apply to the Copperaja deck as well, is to talk about the uh, damage output of all these guys. I think it's indicative of the majority of the format, whether you hit for 190, 220, 240. I think it's all kind of arbitrary. Now, those numbers cover most of the two prize Vs and GXs. Yes, you want to hit for as much as possible, but really when you're talking about that whole range of numbers, I don't think it really matters. Um, more often than not, you are playing to two hit the tag teams, the guys that are 270, 280, or the VMAXs that creep on up to as high as 340. So just keep that mindset kind of rolling around in your noodle as you check these decks out. So that's a quick look at the, uh, the one kit version of this. Works pretty good. It's a little inconsistent. I, I don't like decks that have a lot of two ofs in it. And of course, this is all two ofs because it's all the trainer kit allows. So let's get back and look at the version that we're going to play. And this is again just built um, exclusively with uh, cards from the trainer kit. And this is a little bit more streamlined version of it. Same, same line of all the uh, Pokemon. Same attackers. Down to one to Dene, just because you do have the other supporters in a little bit higher number, so don't really need more than one, I don't believe. You know, two is nice for consistency's sake, but also there's an issue with this variety of attackers and a bench sitter like Colossal of the uh, bench getting clogged up, and you don't want two to Dene taking up those spots. So, so we maxed out the Pokey gear, let you dig for your supporters. Maxed out the quick balls, added another candy, and of course added um, a switch. Kept these other lines at two, with the exception of the uh, the main supporters there, Marnie and Professor's Research. Then added uh, one more uh, Vitality Band, just to give you that extra little boost of uh, damage. Really, really more for Nine Tails more than anything. There's a lot of uh, 190 HP guys in this. Uh, out of these new V characters and missing that by 10 damage with him is kind of aggravating so Vitality Band goes on there um, it helps on the Cramorant as well really like I said really doesn't make that much of a difference on some of these other guys it can make a nice difference as well if you get into ADP or one of these 280 HP uh, tag teams Revenge Blast, when it's maxed out, will only hit for 270. That Vitality Band will let you get to 280. So you can one-shot one of those things. 
Yeah, that's the, this deck in a nutshell. I think the best thing to do is just play it and show you how it kind of shakes out. So I'm going to play Georgia, who's piloting one of Logan's creations, a Rallaboom Rayquaza GX deck, um, which can get pretty crazy. Uh, just for context, uh, while I am using the kit and basically playing in the post-August standard format, the Rayquaza deck is in that weird territory that Pokemon created by canceling everything, which is still Ultra, Ultra Prism on. Uh, the format that everybody qualified for Worlds played in all year, and the one that the online tournaments are still using. Even though it's a dead format at this point, but anyway, the Rayquaza deck has access to some cards that I'm not using, but I think it should still be a fun match either way. See, it looks got the two uh, roly coly start, and Georgia is going to be going first. I guess speaking of cards, I'm not using a uh, the nest ball. If yeah, she gets uh, just like this deck with uh, Colossal in it. You get Rylaboom set up fast, especially by the second turn, uh, this deck can kind of explode on you. Rylaboom uh, has the ability Voltage Beat that lets you attach two Grass Energies from your deck anywhere you want to. And then if Rayquaza, of course, is hitting for 30 damage times the number of either Grass or Lightning Energies you have in play anywhere on your field. So it can, uh, it can go pretty crazy pretty quick. Yeah, so we'll start off a uh, quick ball, take a quick look, see what we have. I guess go ahead and get Sandaconda out, even though he is weak to Rylaboom. i got to keep that in the back of my mind, that uh, Rylaboom's attack, I think, for 140 can one-shot him. We're going to dig a little bit with Sycamore, or excuse me, Magnolia. With the Rylaboom too, he's 170, just kind of an odd number for me to deal with. The Cramrant can hit for 160. I put that Vitality Band on him, he can hit him for 170, but I do have to get him active to do that. So. This Cramrant also, Cramrant can let me search out two cards with his first attack. A major whiff here was just I missed the energy. Wanted to get those two in the discard pile, which I did, but missed one on, on a Magnolia. That kind of left me in a bad spot, otherwise I could have just switched to uh, Santa Conda. Volkner, another very powerful card that rotates out in August. Let you get an item and a lightning energy. Which is probably going to get Georgia to, yeah, to a second term Rallaboom. Which is where I wish I was at the moment. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage at the beginning, but um, enough to take out my Roly Coley. And again, if I'd hit the energy, I could return knockout with Sandaconda this turn. We'll see. Looks like we're just going to keep on drawing Professor's researches and dig a little more. Rare candy and no Colossal. whole bunch of energy. Sometimes the trading card game online does this to you. I uh, guess I should go ahead and get this Nine Tails down. I don't think I want to play the double down right now. I don't want to take up that spot too soon with him. Get Nine Tails down and this is what I wish I could have done last turn. Thirty damage, attach a fighting from my discard to uh, to him, which sets him up for the next turn. Two twenty HP. I'm not sure. It's another Rallaboom in play. She could uh, definitely take me out this turn, which would not be good. There's the Stormy Winds ability. Uh, you have to discard the top three of your deck with that Rayquaza. But it does let you attach. It's like she didn't have energy in the discard on that one, maybe. Here comes a voltage beat. 
two more. Nest ball, or excuse me, net ball. Let's see, either grab a basic or a or an energy. Get a grass. Don't think she's gonna be able to take me out this turn. That's just a Rallaboom. There's a Dragon Break for 180. There's finally communication. I can use, uh, send that double and get my colossal help. Shoot, only one left in the deck. That was scarier than it should have been. Rare candy to him. Get fire here, we're going to use this ability. I think we just have just the fire in the discard, which kind of stinks. Attach it to Sanaconda. You know what? That was a mistake. I should have attached that to the Nine Tails. As it gets my energy count off on Sanaconda. Take the knuck out. Yeah, that was a uh, oops. So you do have to get a uh, energy attachment ahead on Nine Tails to be able to use his attack for 180, which is enough to knock out Rayquaza. New supporters off of the uh, prize cards. Be an easy knockout for Equaza this turn, as I'm only what, 40, 40 damage away. It's a trick with Equaza, though, is you do have to to keep energy on the field, and every time you lose Equaza, you lose three or basically 90 damage. That becomes a little bit of a task. Uh, keeping that going. That's. And that's where the, uh, I think that mistake on Nine Tails is, looks like it's probably going to hurt me because I'm not sure if I'm going to have to top a fighting energy or a way to get one to be able to return hit this Rayquaza where if I'd attach to Nine Tails I could just do that with his attack. Cynthia, another card that uh, I would probably prefer in this to, in my deck, to Professor's Research. As you've seen, I've had to do a lot of digging and thrown a lot away. A second Rallaboom, which is very scary. That means four energies can, four grass energies anyway, can come out of turn. I don't know if there's that many still left in the deck. Yeah, the, uh, that one's going to bite me on the, uh, on the energy, uh, mistake there with uh, nine tails but again we're just showing the deck I'm not gonna nitpick games to uh, just show you ones I win with or lose with whichever way uh, just want to show you uh, some gameplay with it and you're getting a look as well at Logan's deck uh, if you guys like playing in this uh, format still it's a pretty fun deck because of the nine step tails mistake I think we're gonna have to uh, we're just gonna charge this Cramorant up would have loved to have caught one of those Rallabooms. Didn't have that as an option. I'm kind of thinking uh, I'm going to just try to take some energy off the field and maybe take out that um, Shaman. Get another. I'd love to get another uh, Colossal in here as well. So we'll get another Roly Coley down and use the Dene. Thing great off there. We'll like so we'll take this shaman out. Take 60 damage away. Uh, what those two Rallabooms that may not matter. She still has the energy uh, available. She can add 120 damage, I guess, every turn to what she already's got out there. Already looking at five in play. Six. There's 180. Here for a Voltner. And Ordinary Rod, that's not good. So she 
she was low on energy, that's going to get two more back in, which is enough. That alone will be enough to take out my Cramorant. I guess you could always attack with Cramorant if he lives and then just finish somebody off with Roly Coley. <laughs> but that's not the, uh, not the goal of uh, how this deck should work. Two Rallaboom Field is uh, is pretty frightening. Don't know the exact energy count on the deck. I'll see if we can get the list and post it here as well and in the comment section. But uh, don't know how many energies it has and what it caps out at damage wise with Rayquaza. But uh, I'm sure it can hit well over the 300 mark. To get my Cramorant leaves me in a not really a hole, but I am by on the uh, price count here. You have to uh, make sure you're staying on top of your energy attachments on this one as you learn to play it. As you see, I've already made a mistake on that. Probably a game changing mistake it's starting to look like. Nice thing about Tar Generator though is you can attach these two to two different Pokemon. So I'll put the fighting up on uh, Santa Con and put that fire down on Nine Tails. So if by chance I live, I'll be able to take out anything on the field with Nine Tails next turn. Got the option to use boss's orders, but I really want to get this uh, three energy Rayquaza out of the way. At least make her uh, earn the next knockout. It's a little Marnie. It's a five for me, a four for her. I don't know if it's. Uh, Maybe too little, too late, trying to cripple her hand. It's another uh, another smooth, easy knockout with Sandaconda V. At the moment, again, does not have the energy to take out my Sandaconda at 220 HP, but okay, so the double Rallaboom uh, setup there may may get her there. We'll have to see. Bolton can attack uh, as well, not for as much. I don't think it's. I think it's multiples of twenty for his attack. A quick ball for Tepe Coco. I can look two lightnings come back. I think she just has the one. One lightning off the uh, Dance of the Ancients or whatever that ability is called. Stormy Winds lets her get another. I guess this will be a Grass Energy coming. And Volkner gets one more out. Have another ordinary rod. This is going to be able to put two, two more grass back in, and with those rally booms, that will definitely get get her past 220. So I hate doing math. I think this is going to be 300 damage. Yeah, so 300. Again, uh, we had the Nine Tails uh, knockout on the next turn. Uh, I think this match shows how both of the decks can function in what looks like a 50 50 matchup. And again, illustrates how in the trading card game, one decision can affect and sway a game you know, pretty severely. But I'm not going to uh, play 20 matches and just show you the one where I crush someone. This is not meant to glorify a deck that's maybe not as good as. We try to make it out to be. Rather, this is meant to uh, show you the deck concept. Uh, I suggest that you build it and give it a try for yourself. Of course, all trainers and energy came from the trainer's toolkit. 
For those new to the game or looking to get back into it, two of these are all that you need to get that core set of cards around which you can build anything. With that being said, uh, check back soon. We'll show you what we did with the uh, kits and the Copperage Vs that we just opened the other day. Until then, this has uh, been Hee Haw with Dark Moon Cards and Games. Be not afraid. Later.